Hi guys. I usually say happy whatever the day is. It's not so flipping happy right now. It's Thursday and I think the last time I talked to you guys it was Sunday. It was Sunday and Davis wasn't doing good. So I brought him to the vet on Monday and they the vet not his usual vet says that he has a flare up of his spinal issue. Um, so we've been medicating him and now it's Thursday and he's still not doing good so I dropped him off at the vet again. And as you can see, my eyes are completely, completely swollen from crying. He is losing some feeling in his hind legs, so he's having difficulty walking. He's in a buttload amount of pain. They've given him methadone, which is a very, very strong pain med. And basically, the best option for him is to get surgery to do a spinal decompression um, he needs to be seen by a specialist, a neurologist. Um, obviously, this sounds and is expensive. Um, this surgery will cost us over $5,000. Let's just leave it at that. Davis is four years old and we can't give up on him. I'm about to cry again. <laughs> So if we put the surgery off, there is a risk of him becoming paralyzed and not being able to use his legs. Or if we wait too long for the, did I say that already? I don't even know. Oh, no. If we so wait. Pretty much, we want our goofball back who pisses us off and irritates us. Yeah. Basically, um, yeah, so the surgery is scheduled for Tuesday in the morning and um, I'm hoping it goes well. He's going to be under their care for about four days and it was so scary. We'll be hoping he's going to be at least walking without pain for a while. Yeah, that's another thing is that we were thinking should we wait until after Hawaii but after the vet brought him oh. in and we saw him dragging his hind legs I said we can't freaking wait. So nope, not possible. This condition is very common. Very common for Frenchies. This is a bad case. So he's right here. He's resting. Not a lot of activities. We can't walk him. We just have to take him to the bathroom. No jumping. No going up the stairs. Lots of yeah, lots of sleeping. So luckily he's not panting or breathing hard as much i think the pain medication really really helps so so we're hoping that um he makes it good well, he makes so it through tuesday. tuesday if for some reason he loses complete function of his legs we need to take him to the er and i pray and i hope that that doesn't happen he needs that surgery asap so it's been one heck of a week both have had to miss out on the work. Sleep. Crying. I know. Making a grown ass man cry. It's the first time I saw him cry, actually. I mean, I didn't cry, but I teared up and tears dropped, yeah. He's fu he, he's like, crying. I didn't like. Not that I didn't this is weep. a joke about it, but he was crying. I didn't weep. I yeah, did. I, I did. Hey, Davis. He's like, I'm trying to rest. We love you. We love you. You want peanut butter? You want your peanut butter treat? One of um, Jeff's coworkers or something, somebody, customer, customer gave him these, um, they're called bagels. They're peanut butter. They're hard as a rock because Jeff tried to actually yeah, chew on this. Yeah. He, he tried to take a bite. Well, I did it my front teeth, but it hurt. And it didn't work. But this guy was able to. I think he deserves a little yummy treat. Yep, I'm thinking he likes this peanut butter cookie. Like son, like father. Hey, we like peanut butter. Don't judge us. I will eat peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon. Do I give him this now? He has a medicine. 
Yeah, if he wants to. So we are giving him his other medicine Genius. and more peanut butter. Mm. So the yeah, I introduced him to peanut butter. What? Yeah, yeah. Mon Saturday night. This has tramadol in it. Which I think you might have gotten already. Right. Tramadol is for pain. Peanut butter. Every dog loves peanut butter. This makes this kind of lifts my spirits a little bit, doesn't it? A little bit. I can, oh no, he didn't get it. You see the medicine right there. He knows it's there. He sees it now. Nope, because you know what? <laughs> yeah, you just took a big look. It's gone. He took a big bite of it. Okay, we're gonna throw the rest of the peanut butter away. Hell no, I'll lick it off. They gave him methadone. Two methadone injections today, one in the morning and one before we picked him up um, around 4 30. And um, we've been giving him tramadol, which is for pain, gabapentin, which is for his nerves, and then um, meloxicam for anti inflammatory. So that is what he's getting ar around the clock until his surgery. So. Gotta hope we can keep him comfy. Gotta keep an eye on him. We'll keep you guys posted. Cross your fingers for us. I can barely cross my fingers. Hold on. Cross. Look, I can get like two of each. Bam. I get my toes, but you know, my shoes are on. If you're a Frenchie owner or anyone who has gone through this, um. Or if you're a Frenchie owner and you see symptoms like this, you can ask us questions since we've gone. And I would like it. your feedback and recommendations as well. So hemivertebrae is super common, so leave a comment, something. We'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, we will keep you updated on our little Frenchie's journey. Give me a kiss. No, don't, no, don't walk. No. Don't, you need, down. Good boy. That sneeze is something that he does all the time. No, just stay. He sneezes in everyone's faces, and I think he means he loves us instead of kisses, because he doesn't give us kisses. It's just so strange to see him like this. He's not his normal self. I think what I'll do is include some videos of him, of his normal self, and how crazy and funky and weird he is, so I'll include that right here. I don't know why I had to point, but like that. Thank you.